Hi team, Danielle at Vine Skills. I'm gonna walk you through the process of creating a new project. To do so, you can access it one of two ways. You can either head to your project hub and select new project here, or you can use the new project in the top banner. It may be in your three line menu over here, or you may see the icon of the plus sign on the top banner here. When you're creating a new project, the org should automatically default to whatever your firm's org, FileVine org is. If not, you may have to select it if you have access to it, but typically it's gonna be one org and you won't have to update this field. The next is if you have multiple templates within your FileVine system, typically you won't, but in case that you do, you're just gonna select the appropriate template or FileVine like structure that you wanna choose from. So for example, if it's a personal injury case, you wanna make sure you're going with the personal injury template. Um, if you have uh, an admin or human resources template, then you wanna make sure you're selecting that if that's the project you wanna create. Um, in that template. So in this case, I'm just going to select, we're in our sandbox here, I'm just gonna select personal injury. And in most cases, you're, you're either gonna have one template, one project type where you don't have to select it, or you might have a couple. The next thing you wanna do is add your client. So you're gonna start typing your client's name, and if this client is somewhere in your FileVine system as a client, it's gonna filter out in this list. So I'm gonna name this project or the client for this project that I'm creating is gonna be Penny Lane. So I'm writing her name there and then any other clients within our system, whether it's Penny Lane herself or another client that has a similar name like Miss Money Penny, they're gonna appear here. You can also uncheck this limit to client checkbox and then it will give you all of the contacts within your FileVine system. This is a good way to see if this client is maybe somewhere already in your system, perhaps as a defendant or a plaintiff that already exists. In this case, I don't see that we have Penny Lane here, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a new contact. While I'm here, I'm gonna make sure I fill out as much information as possible. If you're on the phone with the client, you just wanna fill out whatever information you can get at that time. You can always come back and update this contact card later. If you're on the phone with the client and performing an intake, this is also a good time to get this contact information. So you can get the phone number, the email address, uh, the home address, and then also you can go to the details tab and get more information for this client. So for example, the social security number, the driver's license number, this is a good time to fill out that information. But again, in the case that you just wanna move on to the rest of the intake, you can come back and update this later. Once we have all the information that we are going to enter at this time, we can go ahead and hit create. And this is just creating the contact card. We still have to go through with creating the project. So the next item here is project name. This is totally optional. Um, it's typically gonna default the project name. Each case, each project has a project name as well as a project contact. So the project name is typically gonna default to the client's name. So this would default to Penny Lane. If your firm or company has a naming convention as an internal process for your projects, this would be the time that you would enter that name. So for example, if you are choosing for your project name to have the uh, plaintiff versus defendant, then you can write that here. If you're going to give it the uh, last name and then first name, and then maybe date of incident, you can write that information here. So let's go ahead and do Lane Penny date of incident for 10. 2024, and then we can give it a uh, type of accident, type of case that it is. This is totally optional. Again, you don't have to do this, but if your uh, firm internal process is to create a project name, you can do that here. You can also do it once the project is created, and I'll show you that in a second. The next item is add a team. 
Not all firms are going to have this. This is a, a certain feature from Filevine. If you you know are interested in having it, you can have Filevine turn it on for you. But this is the new Teams permissions that was rolled out uh, early 2024 or late 2023. I'm not really sure. But if you do have this, this is where you would add your specific team. So if you have teams built other than a default team, you can go ahead and add that team here. Then you're gonna go ahead and hit create. And you'll see here that this is the project name that we entered and this is the client contact. You can also edit the project name here by typing out however, whatever you'd like and then just go in and hitting the check mark. Once you've created your new project, you're gonna to wanna to take the time to fill out each section as much as possible with the information that you have and set up the file. So for example, you're gonna to go to the intake section. You're gonna make sure you include the intake information, at least any information that you have at that time, date of intake, type of incident information, the date of the incident, etc. Any brief insurance details. This is in our sandbox, but your system should have something to this effect. Um, and you'll make sure you add any documents that were taken or uh, sent to you guys at the time of intake. You also want to go through the other sections and fill out what preliminary information you have at that time. And then you're going to want to also make sure you set up your team properly. Not everyone has this capability, and it may uh, be an admin or manager in your office who handles this part. But if you have those uh, permissions, you want to make sure the team role, the team roles, the members, the um, permissions on that case are set up properly in your team section, as well as in likely your case summary section. It could be a different section for you. But usually there is some section that has uh, the staff assignments. So who's handling that case? And it's important that those are assigned properly in the beginning.